Hello everybody, and welcome back to Stellaris Megacorp. So we're going to get right back into it. It's been a week since my last recording, so I've got to kind of figure out what we were doing last time. Uh, I think we were in the middle of upgrading uh, the special station for... Ooh, special Project Actual... Uh, uh, been able to understand the entirety of the language, old weapons found. Uh, however, they managed to translate the essentials, giving us a glimpse into culture they originate from. Oh, just got some influence. Well, now we're full up on influence. That was kind of useless. Uh, we're one away from having an Elgate insight. Uh, uh, our full Elgate insight. We do have that now, so that's good. Alien barracks, olfactory studies. Where are these? Let's track these on the map. Okay, they're all the way down there. That'll be a little while before we finish those. <sighs> Let's check our worlds. Okay, a little low stability there. Oh, that's what we were doing, if I recall. We had a bit of a problem with some of our uh, factions. So we have the Ooh, anomaly. Cold hard potential. Uh, found an anomaly, require extensive probing. Okay, just go ahead and do that. Uh, so, yeah. Peace and order movement. Not much we can really do with that one. So, you know, everybody, which one are we suppressing? Does it tell us? Or would it tell us? Manage factions. Okay, no. Uh, strength from small places. Having probed the frozen landscapes of the of the moon, Beta Aquinae in 3A, uh, we think we have struck something big. Science officer Garrick Nix speaks of biological life form unlike any other. It bonds with other forms, uh, other individuals to form large blankets that are durable yet light, and also act like solar cells. They absorb solar energy with a surprisingly low efficiency loss percentage. Uh, most likely a result of evolution favoring those who could gather more heat in the harsh environment, uh, uh, climate. Our researchers back home think they, uh, uh, could surely find some use in this information. Uh, we've got plenty of energy. Let's do, we, let's do military use. Okay, so I don't think we're doing anything with that one. Okay, so we're suppressing the Xeno Liberty Institute. The Xeno Liberty Institute, which is good, because they're the biggest faction in our empire for some reason. Strength of small places, our military development researchers have made progress with the samples we sent them. Uh, they reconstructed the biological solar cells, document how they retain heat energy within themselves without taking damage. This has helped us develop new defensive technology to our fleet. Marvelous. So shields. Cool. Yeah. How much? Uh, so this is a Seaton Liberty Institute's got to be like a. Uh, what are they? They've got to be a um, xenophile. Research. Activities. Yeah, xenophile. So with us suppressing that. Yeah, negative seventy-five percent. So hopefully that goes down. Gas extraction wells. Good. Good. Let's look at what else we can pick up here. Uh, living metal would take too long. Crystal infused plating. Or, you know what? Yeah, crystal infused plating. We'll go with that. Okay, construction ships done. Did we have any... Uh... Oh, yes, we did. Seven of those in orbit. Outlier identified. E, a particular crater, peculiar crater. A large impact crater has been discovered that does not seem to be a natural occurrence. Research. Do we have any other exotic gases in orbits of any of our planets or stars? Does not look like it. Nope. Okay. Well, then we don't have to worry about those. All right. Yeah, stability's low for these guys. 
pop approval rating down 15. Yeah, 34% approval rating. Uh, new metal. Detailed service scans of Beta Aquain 4 have identified large impact crater containing wreckage of several ancient starships of unknown design. The ships appear to be completely devoid of life support systems, leading us to uh, spe uh, suspect that they were either unusually large drones or controlled by some form of artificial intelligence. Interest interest interestingly, the hull of the ships were constructed out of living metal, uh, an exceedingly rare and inorganic material uh, with many unique properties. This metal can be programmed to assume a certain shape or form, and will slowly rego itself if damaged. Over a period of several millennia, the surviving metal from the wreckage or from the wrecked ships was fused into a large, extremely dense, depo dense deposit that could potentially be mined for centuries to come. Fascinating. Cool, living metal up there. Upscaling complete. Okay, mining station's done. <laughs> that means we also got all the energy from that planet as well. Cool. So now that old uh, precursor civilization's home system is now ours. And we have a crap load of resources from it. So now we're getting, uh, where's it at? Yeah, now we're getting nine exotic gases. So that will allow us to upgrade. Research actualized. Uh, no, that uses crystals. We only get one crystal a turn. Yeah, we only get one crystal a turn. Uh, I know... So, oh, yeah, so research complexes can be upgraded by these uh, exotic gases. So we could get more research. That's cool. Energy siphon's done. Let's pick up... Let's pick up gene clinics. A system has been surveyed. That could be useful. You know, let's have... Uh... Okay, you're surveying that. We'll have you... Research project in that system. Just head back. Go ahead and detail it. It'll take you a while, but it'll work out. Okay. So, Mitrar Station is now a trade hub, which means it should be getting trade from all of these other systems. So, if you look at it, no longer need to have... Uh, we don't need trade routes for any of these systems here. So it should be taking, yeah, so that's two jumps away and it's still getting the trade value. Uh, I don't know who's picking it up, though. Let's see, does it tell us who's picking it up? No, but it is being picked up, so that's good. Okay, these guys don't like us. So that's the League of something? League, League, where's the League? Yeah, down here. Oh, we got a physics research, so what uh, do we want? Shields? Shields would be pretty cool. Yeah, shields would be very useful. We'll, we'll pick up shields. Won't be that long before we get the benefits of that and we can refit our ships. A uh, new contact, the Uth Uthabaklon Assembly. Uh, greetings. I've been chosen by Chairwoman Nirshub Mistrip to represent the Uth, uh, Uth Ab Ulan Assembly. Uth about yeah. Uh, and all diplomatic dealings with your people. Uh, we strive to unlock the full potential of technology, and you would do well not to interfere with our pursuit of knowledge. Okay, so they're explorers. Cool. Where are they at? Oh, down here. Oh, they're pretty big. They, they're actually not that bad. We could probably get a uh, commerce agreement, commercial agreement with them. Start opening up branch offices. I mean, our branch offices over in uh, the theocracy are doing gangbusters. I mean, look at this. 33 energy credits we're making off of that. 33. Plus 
two alloy and ten food off of that, which is pretty good as well. Okay. So we can start upgrading our various different things here. I don't really need to upgrade the precinct uh, house, but I would like to upgrade these. Uh... Yeah. So what is it? Two research jobs. So if we upgrade it, is that is that plus five research jobs on top of the two research jobs, or just five in general? We'll, we'll test this out. Have we gotten all of the tile blockers? Looks like it. Good, good. Huh. We kind of don't really need any other stations, too, but we're, we're, we still have three star bases that we can put up. I mean, we could put one on Trittery Oak and the like, but we don't need to because uh, our home system's star base is a trade hub, which extends it, like, a lot. Didn't mean to do that. So, Sooth Turn, it has two as well. So, let's see. This... Yes. Okay. So they do stack. So the trade, uh, the little trade hub modules stack so they can collection range plus one. So uh, you normally at the start, uh, you can only collect within the same system you're in. Uh, yeah, we'll just select the same guy. Uh, you can only collect from the same system you are cur uh, the station is in. If you put one trade hub on there, then you can collect one jump out. And if you can put two, then it's two jumps out. So that means you could... Theoretically, if you just stacked it full of all six of these with trade hubs, that's a that's a range of six. That's pretty awesome. That would mean if we had our home system here, that'd mean one, two, three, four, five, six. That almost sure get to Sahuth turn. That's pretty cool. Chemical Bliss, we don't really need. Naval Cap. Don't really need it, actually. Uh, let's pick up extra uh, research. Again, we're going to be... We're always going to be lower on the totem pole in terms of size in this game. I would rather be the more technologically advanced. So, Crystal Infused Plating... Else, Elgate Insights, a little bit too much, a little bit too much. In terms of the amount of time to research that. Let's pick up... Uh, you know, actually, now that I look at it... Eh, pick up Elgate Insight. That'll get us what we need, and then we can open up the Elgate. And head to the L Cluster. And it's probably a good time to upgrade our fleet. Upscaling complete. Okay, fleet's been upgraded. Okay. What I really want is I want an admin cap increase. They, I know they exist. Uh, where are they? If we could get them, we could actually start. Uh, we could start looking at maybe uh, colonizing this perfect alpine world and get another world up. Maybe get this little cluster of uh, planets under our control. Okay, so that's five research jobs total. Okay, so that's what that does. Ooh, new contact: the Quinidi Combine. QNT. QNT Combine. There we go. That'd be good. Uh, I bring greetings from Grand Marshal Jessler, the undisputed ruler of the QNT Combine. Wish to learn more about your species. Which martial techniques do your, world, do your warriors employ, giving your fascinating biology? Uh, looks like you have, I mean, two arms, two legs. 
Just a little stockier. So where are they? Right there. Nope, wrong one. Right there. Okay, so there's got to be one here. One here that we haven't seen. And probably one just all around there. That or those could just be open territory. Though I highly doubt this is just open territory. Okay. Potential market survey completed. Nice. So many beautiful worlds out here. Uh, how's our robot population doing? Not doing bad. Got three robots. Actually, just one. Just should check. Let's see here. Species in the Empire. So, 18 Rixie. Okay. What do they have? They're very strong. Cool. We can make them into, into warriors. Natural Engineers is good. Quarrelsome, not the best. Decadent, not the best. Mechanical. Uh, colonizing with robots wouldn't be a bad thing. Colonizing this desert world. Hmm... Okay, let's upgrade the uh, research institute, or research labs, into research complexes. We'll double up on that. <clears throat> research actualized. Shields have been researched. Nice. Advanced research complexes could be cool. Advanced combat roles. Research station output. 18 months. We'll pick that up. <clears throat> that should give us a nice boost. Okay, the assembly. Can we maybe work with you on a commercial agreement? Number of contracts, base is bad, distance is pretty bad, yeah. Okay, so we have to work with people around us, but not a lot of people around us like us. That's a problem. So, what are your opinions? You have no opinions on us whatsoever. You already have two trade deals, so if we, we checked your planet... Let's see, corporate office is probably already taken. No, actually, no. No branch office there. Let's see, is there anything closer that's not a megacorp that doesn't hate us? Chit and Commonwealth. <clears throat> no, they they don't like us that much. Mm. Federated Associate status. <clears throat> Is there a federation? Uh, let's see here. Opinion, diplomatic view, unions. Okay, so your union together. That looks to be it. Like, are you... Yeah. Okay. So they've got an alliance together, a federation. That's a thing. Doesn't look like it'll be too bad for us, though. Now, the research lab. Let's... let's so that bring us down to seven. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. Why not? I'll give them more research jobs. They're high-paying. People will like them. Okay, I think we're starting to make headway on our... Yeah, okay, we're making headway on our various different factions. Getting people to... They'll be less pissy. You're almost there, and then once you're finished with that, you can double back to this uh, research uh, project. Okay, Conglomerate didn't... or closed their 
borders with us. Doesn't matter, we have no connecting borders at all. See, what would be good is if we could claim these two systems. If we claim these two systems, then stack them with uh, defensive stations, that would give that would give us at least a little bit of warning before the uh, individuals could jump in on our planets. Well, let's upgrade because we did just get shields. Or did that not apply? That probably applied, I think. Ships upscaled. Eh, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, ship designer. Let's check our destroyers. You have shields? Small improved deflectors. Oh. Okay, you have shields. So if we autocomplete... Yeah, autocomplete and save. Then you, auto. Okay, you're you're what you are. Let's auto upgrade that design. Cool. Then you, you're a small picket ship. Save. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's more of a beefy retrofit there. Get shields on everybody, increase our fleet power. Keep above the Union. I think once we get to maybe 2k for the Strategic Readiness Fleet, we could uh, maybe... I don't know, actually, I don't think we want to be warmongers, that's the thing. Okay, the Raxar Company. Raxar Company, Mega Corporation. Why are there so many Mega Corporations? Greetings, I speak for the Chief Executive Officer, Raxi, or Raxiar. Huh, that's a serendipitous name. And the wealthy elite of the Raxar Company. We have all, we are always looking for new trading partners, and hopefully we can come to some sort of a, uh, accommodation that will benefit the commerce of both nations. So they're fanatic militarists, materialists. Will not be held back. Okay, where are they at? Right there. Yep, thought so. You're a weird species. Uh, they like us, though. They'd like us. Maybe we get like a trade union going where we just have like a whole bunch of uh, of uh, Mega Corps working together. That'd be kind of interesting. All right. Research actualized. Xenobiology's done, so we get some more society research. And now, what do we need? Could pick up. Jella, regenerative whole, whole tissue. You know what? Eleven months for the hyper entertainment forms. Why not? More declared. Ooh, war declared. Sovereignty versus the League of Thrall. Special okay. Ooh, alien activated. barracks. Science officer Con Caps. Thorough xeno historical analysis of the military installation on Uldur 5A has yielded few tangible results. The base was constructed before the planet turned completely barren, but it is unclear if its current inhospitality is a result of armed conflict or some more peaceful or even natural process. What can be deduced from uh, of their strategies and tactics in armed conflict does not seem to have been for an an be been far in advance of our own. On the upside, Science Officer Conquest claims, claims drawn much inspiration from the alien remnants. Okay, so we got some experience and military theory trait. Cool. Alright, so we're just gonna have you now head over there. Upscaling complete. Cool. Impultov finished their upgrade. Oh, and Titriok has now got an open building slot. So your mining world makes sense. Let's see here. Chemical plants. Ooh. Turning those into moats? That could be interesting. You know what? We're going to get a gene clinic up. Give some amenities, some pop growth, growth speed. I think that's good.
And civilian industries. It would require the crystals. No. Don't have enough spare crystals. Exotic gases. No. Okay, we're almost back up to full on our... Uh, or back up to a positive stability on all of our planets. Everything but Tritrioke. Okay, ships have been upscaled. Nice. What does that look like? 2.1k on that. That is a good upgrade. Uh, nice. Those shields helped. And the new weapons. And research station output's been increased. Good. So now we can start looking at a couple of things. Let's see. Shield capacitors, flyer control, barrier point defense, energy nexus. Let's pick up auxiliary fire control. Ten months. Not a thing. We're almost up to 500 research. Nice. That is a good amount of research we're getting. And we've got plenty of defensive armies on our garrison, with our garrisons now. So we don't really need the uh, precinct houses. Or the, well, we don't need it now. Okay, you finished your war. Oh, attackers is humiliated, okay. Rivalry. Migration treaty broken? Hmm. You know what? I was actually thinking. We could break the migration treaty. I'd like to break the migration treaty here, because they although they do have Desert World preference. Eh, you know what? No. No, we can keep them there. And with robots, we don't really need it, that's the thing. But looking at the time, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. So, you know, kind of a laid-back episode. We've done a lot of infrastructure. We've, we've built up our fleet by a, quite a bit. We've increased our research by, I think, more than 100 uh, since we started. Uh, so, yeah, we are we're plugging away at just making ourselves kind of a power. At least we're a regional power at this point in the northern bit of the galaxy. So hopefully we can keep expanding that. And maybe if we can get an admin tech uh, for our, or we can get a tech for our admin cap, uh, we can start expanding a little bit and kind of closing up uh, what's left in these little areas around us. Uh, but thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below to hit that like button. If you want to help support the channel, consider that subscribe button as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!